For this patch to work, I need two triangle LFOs that are running at the same speed, but with a 25% timing difference in their duty cycles. This is basically a quadrature LFO. One way I can get this second LFO is to use LFO2 to sync LFO1. The yellow line in the oscilloscope is showing the triangle output of LFO1, and the faster blue line is the triangle from LFO2. But I can use LFO2 to reset the waveform of LFO1. So if I take a cable from its square output and connect it to the sync input, you'll see that periodically this yellow triangle will be reset. So the triangle will suddenly stop and restart its duty cycle. So now I'll adjust this to make it as close as possible to the second LFO. It takes a lot of fine adjusting, but that's already close enough. You wouldn't really hear any difference between those two triangles if you're using them just as modulation. Now you'll notice that the peak of the yellow triangle will occur halfway down the slope of the blue triangle, which is a quarter or one quadrant of the blue triangle's duty cycle. This means if we use this LFO for panning, at the point where the panning is, say, furthest to the left, the second LFO would have only raised or lowered the amplitude to about 50%, but halfway through the panning cycle where the sound is approximately in the middle, then the amplitude created by the other LFO should be at its highest or lowest point, and that should give the impression of the sound being at its loudest when it's in the central stereo position, or alternately at its quietest, and then as it pans in either direction it'll appear to get either nearer or farther away. Here I've got some white noise and a VCO going into the muting mixer and then into the Gemini VCF. The output is going into the first input of the triple cross and then I'm using the two outputs of channel 3 for stereo panning. And so these are connected to a mixer and panned hard left and right. Channel 1 is going to serve as a VCA and the fade pot will control its level. to modulate this to make the sound appear to be getting louder as it's nearer and quieter as it's further away. So if I take one of these triangle LFOs and connect this to CV1, this will simply raise and lower the level of the audio signal. The fade pot on channel 3 controls the stereo position of the sound. I want to modulate that too, so I'll take the second LFO and connect that to CV3. This will shift the panning to the left and right at the same speed as the other LFO. However, the difference in the two LFOs should cause the loudest and the quietest moments to occur halfway between the panning from one side to another, and that should give the impression of a sound being louder as it becomes closer moving to one side and then becoming further away as it goes back in the opposite direction.